Good day, students. Trust you are doing great today. My name is Meshak Ojugo. I'm here to take you physics. And I welcome every one of you to the Manuel STEM, which is called the first term. Before we go straight to our lesson for today, let us pray. Father, we thank you for your children. We thank you for this time again to meet with them. Thank you for your protection, for your love upon every one of them and their parents. Father, as we begin this class today, I ask for understanding and retentive memory upon every one of them. At the end, we'll have all the cause to give you all adoration, all the glory and thanksgiving. Thank you, Father, for all you have done for us. May your name be exalted, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, you are welcome to our class today. The first thing we are going to do today is the introduction to the word physics. In your previous classes, what do I mean by that? When you were in J1, J2, and J3, you were taught basic science. And in basic science, a lot of topics were being taught in that subject. Topics, for example, like force. You were taught what is force. You were taught what is energy, and so on and so forth. All of that has been put together, and other topics you did in JSS 1 to 3 in basic science, which now climbs to the subject called physics. Being in SS1, this is the first thing, which is introduction to physics, you will be learning. First, the word physics. What is the meaning of physics or the definition of physics? The word physics originates from the word, called the Greek word, which is called physis. Physis simply means nature or natural environment. What do we mean by nature? Nature means your environment. You grew up from the childhood level to the level you are today. And you see things around your environment. You leave your environment to other places. Everything, that's what we refer to as nature. Natural things, there are some things you just see that are existing in nature just on their own. That's what we mean by natural environment. Now, the word physics simply means the study of matter in relation to energy. I want you to take note of two key words there, matter and energy. Another definition of the term physics is physics can be defined as the study of matter in, and the energy associated with matter. Now, the word matter, we simply know in your previous lesson that matter can be defined as anything that has mass and occupies space. Then, the other key word there, which is energy, energy can be defined as the ability to do work or the capacity to perform work. So take note that in definition of physics, the word matter and energy are very key in the definition of physics. Next is the importance of physics. As a student in XS1, what is the importance of physics to me? Why am I studying physics? Why is physics being taught in secondary school and other higher level? First, we said physics is constantly striving to make sense of the universe. Take note, we said the word physics originated from the Greek word called physis. That's physics originated from the word called physis, which is nature and natural environment. We said this seems in the development of theories and new theories used for better understanding of the universe. The universe is the whole wide world. Now, the first importance we have here is why do we study physics? We study physics, we acquire, or when we study physics, we acquire the knowledge and the skills to understand how and why natural things happen the way they do and to make reliable prediction about the, their future occurrences. For example, like I said previously, what we mean by natural environment? Now, the first thing we have here is called a mirage. Have you ever imagined or have you experienced the word mirage normally when you are traveling during the daytime, especially when it is sunny? On the road, you see a pool of water ahead of you 
On getting to that point, that location, it seems the water is no longer there. That is a natural occurrence, which is as a, re a result of reflection of the sun and the hot air from the road. That is a mirage. Then the other one we have is eclipse. I'm sure you've heard of the word eclipse before. Eclipse occurs either when the sun comes between the moon and the earth, or the moon comes between the earth and the sun. That is eclipse. When we go further in physics, we'll get a better understanding of the word mirage eclipse. The next one is earthquake. Earthquake simply means the topography of a particular region when a building is erected. And after years to come, the building is seen to sink into the ground. That is what we call earthquake. That occurs. It's natural. Nobody goes there to, to open the ground for the building to enter. Well, the last one we have is thunder. Now, this normally occurs when there is a heavy storm or when it rains heavily. So we experience thunder. First, what comes up is what we call the, the lightning. After lightning, you hear a very sharp sound, which we call thunder, during the rainy season. The next one is the knowledge of physics gives us a better understanding of our immediate and natural environment. Now, like I said, science is all compassing. The science is the universe. Everything that exists on planet Earth is traceable to science. Then the next one is the study of physics as enhanced communication and the transportation world, thus making the word a global village. I'm sure you've heard of the word global village. It simply means you can be in a place and you can communicate anybody, anywhere, all over the world. That is what we mean by communication. So you can imagine that physics is an important subject I must study to understand because it's all around me. Physics is existence. Everything that exists is all about physics. Now, we talked about transportation. Back then, the movement of people from one place to another were not the way it is presently. You can see somebody who is traveling from Nigeria to Europe. You can't just walk on the road, but there is a means of transportation that is faster when you use that means, which is called air transportation. So you can see that with the knowledge of physics, scientists have been able to design a means in which transportation can be improved can be better than the way it was. So the, the invention of airplanes and other uh, uh, means of transportation, we have helicopters, we have other means of transportation. You can see that no, the knowledge of physics has greatly improved the transportation world. Now the next one is human health has been improved from the study of physics through the invention of modern medical equipment. In the olden days, we don't have some facilities in the health sector as we have today. If anybody is going for operation, you can see that we have systems, some sophisticated machines that will be used to diagnose the patient. So with the knowledge of physics, you can design, you can build sophisticated and modern equipment in the health sector so that the health of the, the citizens can be better what attended to. Now, the next part we are going to into is the aspect or career in physics. Now, how, if I study physics, what is it going to give to me? Or what will I do with physics? Now, physics has several applications on health, technology and engineering, agriculture and applied sciences. As a result, below are some of the aspects or the career related to physics. Career means what you do for a living or something you love doing that you derive pleasure from. Now, the first one is in health. If I study physics, what am I going to become tomorrow? You can become a human uh, uh, medicine and surgery. So you can become a medical doctor when you study physics. Then the next one is nursing and midwives. When you study physics, you can do very well in the area of nursing and midwives. The next one is radiotherapy. All of these are in under health. If you want to work in the health sector, 
whether in Nigeria or in other uh, nations. You can study physics that will help you greatly to become uh, a professional in this area. Now, we have pharmacology. It's another aspect in health. When you study physics, you can become a pharmacologist. The next one is physiology. These are courses under health when you study physics. The next one is engineering. For those of you that want to become engineers tomorrow, wow, it is interesting that you must study physics and understand physics to become a good engineer. Engineering courses, we have some here. The first one is electrical engineering. If you want to become an electrical engineer, wow, physics is interesting. You need to study physics. The next one is called electronic engineers. We have them in other sectors like mechanical engineering. We also have aeronautic engineering, those that fly plane or that design plane or that maintain plane. The next one is called petroleum engineering. Remember that Nigeria is a rich country. We have a lot of mineral resources. We have crude, we have other minerals in different locations in this nation. So by the time you study petroleum engineering, you work in the oil sector. The next one is agriculture. If I study physics, I can also become an agricultural engineer. So agricultural engineering is another aspect in agriculture when you study physics. The next one is agricultural production engineering, which simply means production of mechanized machines, machines that are used in agriculture. By the time you study physics, you become an agricultural production engineer. You produce different machines that will enhance the agricultural sector. The next one is horticulture. Horticulture is also a branch in agriculture but before you can be study a course which is called horticulture, you need the knowledge of physics, which will greatly help in the study of horticulture. The next one is in the basic, or we call them applied sciences. Remember, physics is a science subject. Now, we have geophysics. So if you want to become a geophysicist, you need to study physics. The next one is called applied physics. Wow, you need to study physics to know much about what all these courses entails. The next one is also called biophysics, which is biology, we call it biology and physics combined together. Why the next one is medical physics. Medical physics is an interesting course which we greatly enhance your knowledge in the health sector when you study medical physics. The next one is space physics. You've heard of astrologers. You have of meteorologists. You need to study physics because physics will greatly help you in excelling in all of these courses. The next one is called astronomical physics, which is the aspect that also relates with aeronautic physics. You study the space, the study of the space and other bodies that exist in space. The, next, the last we have here is called engineering physics. All are also related in the engineering field. Now, we are going to the next aspect of physics, which is called the branch of physics. At the secondary level, physics is categorized into different areas. Now, the first one we have is the mechanics. Mechanics is a branch of physics that has other subtopics in physics. So as you have come into excess one, you're going to understand something very interesting. The next one is heat. Other aspect is electricity. We have optics, sound, magnetism. And the last one, the least but not the last, is called atomic physics and nuclear physics. Now, seven and eight have been combined to be addressed as nuclear physics because the energy that comes from the nucleus of the atom, that is what is used to, what, to carry a different experiment. The old name that it was being called is called atomic physics, but the modern name is called nuclear physics because the reaction takes place from the world, the nucleus of the world of the atom. Thank you for this class. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.